Welcome back to the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I'm Emma, and today we're talking about something we often overlook, the serious dangers of alcohol consumption. Did you know that alcohol is classified as a Group 1 carcinogen by the International Agency for Research on Cancer? This means it's right up there with tobacco and asbestos in terms of cancer risk. That's right, Emma. Alcohol consumption contributes to approximately 4% of cancer cases worldwide, which amounted to over 740,000 cases in 2020 alone. It's not just heavy drinking that's problematic. Moderate consumption can also increase your cancer risk. So if you think that just one glass can't hurt, think again. Exactly, Alex. What's really fascinating and scary is how alcohol contributes to cancer development. The effects are complex, impacting your immune system, promoting oxidative stress, and causing chronic inflammation. Essentially, alcohol creates the perfect storm for cancer cells to grow and thrive. And let's not forget the immune suppression aspect. Alcohol can significantly weaken your immune system, reducing its ability to fight infections and malignancies. Chronic drinkers often have lower levels of lymphocytes, those important white blood cells that help defend your body against harmful invaders. Absolutely. The innate immune system is our first line of defense, but alcohol impairs key players like macrophages and natural killer cells. These cells are critical in responding to infections and even preventing cancerous cells from taking root. When alcohol suppresses them, your body becomes more vulnerable. This suppressed immune function leads to prolonged inflammation, which can cause DNA damage over time. Alcohol also alters the production of key inflammatory mediators like TNF-alpha and interleukins, which can further accelerate tumor growth. It's not just one type of cancer either. Alcohol is linked to several different types, including liver, breast, colorectal, and esophageal cancers. And what's alarming is that even moderate drinking significantly increases these risks. Exactly. Let's talk about head and neck cancers. People who consume around 50 grams of alcohol daily, about three and a half drinks, are at least two to three times more likely to develop cancers of the oral cavity, pharynx, and larynx than non-drinkers. And if you smoke, that risk skyrockets. That's right. And it's not just heavy drinkers who need to be cautious. Even low levels of alcohol intake can raise your risk of esophageal cancer, especially if you have the ALDH2 genetic variant, which makes it harder for your body to break down acetaldehyde a toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism. Speaking of acetaldehyde, it's one of the main culprits here. It binds to DNA and forms adducts, which can cause mutations, disrupt normal cellular processes, and lead to cancer. It's particularly dangerous for people with impaired metabolism of acetaldehyde. This also plays a role in colorectal cancer. Studies show that moderate to heavy alcohol intake increases the risk of colorectal cancer by 1.2 to 1.5 times. Alcohol damages the cells lining the colon and disrupts your gut microbiome, which is key to immune function. Then there's liver cancer. Even moderate alcohol consumption can increase the risk of liver cancer by 1.3 times. This is partly due to reactive oxygen species, or OS, production in the liver, which leads to oxidative stress and tissue damage. And we can't overlook breast cancer. Women who drink more than 45 grams of alcohol per day, a little over three drinks, are 1.5 times more likely to develop breast cancer. Even lower levels of alcohol intake can increase breast cancer risk by 7% for every 10 grams of alcohol consumed daily. What makes this so concerning is how alcohol interferes with estrogen metabolism, which plays a crucial role in breast cancer development. The breakdown of alcohol in breast tissue also produces acetaldehyde, causing oxidative stress and DNA damage. The damage doesn't stop there. Alcohol affects sphingolipid metabolism, which regulates critical processes like cell death and repair. Alcohol increases the production of ceramides, which can disrupt normal cell functions and weaken your body's ability to combat cancer. Right, and alcohol's interaction with the P53 tumor suppressor protein is especially concerning. P53 normally helps repair DNA or trigger cell death when needed, but alcohol-induced changes in ceramides can interfere with its function, making it easier for cancer cells to grow. The more we learn about these mechanisms, the clearer it becomes. Alcohol consumption has widespread systemic effects on your body, especially when it comes to cancer development. But there are ways to support your body's recovery and reduce the impact of alcohol. And that's where today's herbal remedies come in. From the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, we're going to discuss herbs that support detoxification, immune function, and cellular repair. 
These herbs can help your body deal with the oxidative stress and immune suppression caused by alcohol. Let's start with milk thistle. The active compound, silymarin, is well known for its hepatoprotective properties. It helps detoxify the liver, repair damaged liver cells, and even regenerate new ones. This is essential for mitigating the effects of alcohol-induced liver damage. That's right, Emma. Next up, we have dandelion root. It promotes bile production, which aids in the removal of alcohol metabolites and supports liver health. It's also great for reducing inflammation in the liver. Another powerhouse herb is Shisandra. This one not only enhances liver detoxification, but also helps replenish glutathione, a key antioxidant that's often depleted by heavy drinking. Glutathione plays a major role in detoxifying the body. On the immune side, we have astragalus. It's an immunomodulator that helps strengthen immune responses weakened by alcohol, along with echinacea, which boosts the activity of macrophages and natural killer cells these herbs can help your body bounce back from alcohol's effects. Let's not forget turmeric. Its active compound curcumin is a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. It reduces oxidative stress and inflammation, two of the main culprits behind alcohol-induced damage. And we can't leave out green tea rich in EGCG, another antioxidant that helps protect the liver and reduces oxidative stress. Studies suggest it may even help counteract alcohol's carcinogenic effects by supporting detox pathways. For cellular repair, herbs like gotu cola promote collagen production and help restore damaged tissues. And ginseng can regulate sphingolipid metabolism, helping combat alcohol-induced disruption of cellular processes. To wrap it up, nicotinamide riboside, a form of vitamin B3, supports NAD plus levels, which are critical for cellular energy metabolism. It's essential for repairing cells and counteracting alcohol's aging effects on the body. This full herbal approach targets detoxification, immune support, and cellular repair, helping your body recover from alcohol's harmful effects. But remember, while herbs can provide support, reducing or eliminating alcohol intake is the best prevention. That's a great point. It's all about minimizing risks and supporting your body's natural ability to heal and detoxify. For more detailed information on these remedies and the full article, visit herbalbloom.org. Thanks for joining us today on the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Stay informed, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.